All right, here we go. Am I good? I think so. There's like a little bit of lag usually between live and when it actually hits the screen on Twitch, but it actually hits the screen on Twitch, but the screen on Twitch, but okay, there we go. Have this run in the background just for a second to make sure that it's working. I muted that, closed it. All right, good. So it should be good. Don't return to the main menu or anything. Just come back here. All right, so I am on a quest called Give a Dog a Bad Name. Basically, there's a character in this game called Sean Hampton, known as the Sad Saint in the Docks District. And we need to come down here to the south, and he gave us a key to some sewers. So uh, the storyline, if you're not familiar with, is that Sean Hampton's basically, it looks like he killed a lady in a hospital that he was staying at where we're a doctor, and um, we're trying to track him down. Oh, those fuckers, those fuckers with the big old staff and the cross on top are pretty bad news for me. Oh, what do we have here? There's a dead body on the ground. Oh, all right, let's see this. Garda Pruin note. So from the Garda Pruin, some of our scouts recently spotted the presence of a certain Ichabod Thord Martin. Yes, near the East End docks. We met Ichabod actually on the way into this to on this quest, and he's like a vampire hunter, but he rolls solo. So guards of Prewin are like a group of vampire hunters that are kind of militia type. I think that's basically who I saw downstairs. You'll probably see him patrolling the place at night, claiming that he's a specialist of vampire extermination. The man is a fraud. <clears throat> not even a real con, con man, for he does not charge anybody for the work, but he clearly has no clue what he's talking about. If he ever approaches you for some joined hunt or collaboration, refuse and let him go. In the leech fight, the man is nothing more than bait. Okay, so we haven't actually like tried fighting him or anything. But wow, the guard's pretty harsh. They think that he's uh, full of shit and he can't fight. All right. Um, I think those guys are kind of blocking the way to where we want to go. So we're going to take them on. Um, unless maybe we can uh, take the high road here. It, let me make sure it's this direction. No, no, it's, it is the other direction. All right. Yeah, we're probably going to be running into them at some point soon. And one thing I noticed about this recently is that, like, whenever you um, sleep, all the characters respawn. All the bad guys basically respawn. Oh, no. Oh, bastard knocked me down. One thing I have a bad habit of is not healing frequently enough. Like I'll, I'll die and then I'll go like I'll edit my videos because I've been playing the the whole like beginning part of this game I've been posting on YouTube, and I've been like watching the videos when I edit it and being like, "Heal, dude." Okay. Can... Kind of stuns you for a little bit. I want to get... Oh, what the fuck? There's another group? Oh, this is not good, guys. Now i got fucking two guys. I can get this guy's blood two hits, so that's good. But, like, i got to admit, like, I'm way outnumbered here. This is not looking good. Ah, oh, God, come on. Hit him, hit him, and hit him. My blood's low, too. Like, usually I... Uh, look at that guy. He took almost all my health. Three whacks. Three whacks with that big-ass staff cross of his. All right, let me see. Maybe I can get that, uh, that other dude. Okay, that... Uh, fucking A, what the hell? Got hit from behind? Bastard. Need to get a little more stamina. No. 
This is basically how not to play, you guys. So that's what I'm doing right now. What is that? Is he, are you throwing shit at me? What the fuck? That looks pretty gross, man. What kind of ammo is in that gun? Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna I'm claw you. I got a claw attack. That does pretty good damage. But, and then I'll finish him off at a range. There we go. Cool. I'm not sure. Some of you guys went away. I guess I got far enough away. So I managed to salvage that horrible predicament there that I was in. And how far am I from my quest? It's the other way. All right. And there are, like, occasionally I've seen werewolves scattered around or scowl. Like, they're kind of like ghouls. Uh, this could be the House Gets All Paxton mission. What did she mention? Spoils of War. Investigate. Okay. Oh, right. So Giselle Paxton was this uh, lady that was really rude to us, but she uh, apparently lost some money from uh, a union that she's a part of. And she wanted to, well, she didn't ask us to, but we just said, hey, maybe we can find that money. And so that's why he wants to go in there for. Let's see. Do I, is it? It's like, this looks like the house, but there's no fucking way in it, is there? Hmm. All right. Ah, <sighs> damn right. That's me. Oh, okay. By he, you mean your friend, yeah? Shit. Gotta get some stamina back. I tell you, man, some of the ends I've met in this game have been from losing, running out of stamina and then thinking I can dodge. This is another one of my problems, aside from not healing often enough. Speaking of which, all right, um, how can I like get into this supposed place where I'm supposed to investigate? Anything that looks like an entrance is not, so I'm going to say screw that quest and try to, um, I'm like right on the Y, where's the entrance? The sewers? It's probably below me. Jump down. Oh, hey, it's them. Just finish off the big guy here. All right. And then I'll heal up. Not sure, like, dude, that did a lot of damage to me, that arrow. Here, let me actually. Uh, whoa. I thought I used a lot of blood, but this looks pretty cool. Man. Okay, give me your goods, and that must be the doorway that we're looking for. All right, let's go in here and see what. So uh, basically, uh, Sean Hampton, who we suspect of killing a lady at the hospital that we work at, uh, He's like an undead kind of dude now, but he said, hey, take this key and investigate. It wasn't me. Basically, he's trying to say that something else killed the lady. So that's why we're going down here. Try to find the truth of the matter. Eh, pretty dark sewer. Last time we went in the sewer, there was a werewolf in there. And he killed me like five times. 
So hopefully I'll fare better this time. I'm a little more experienced than I was back then. Oh, it's just sliding. Oh, some money. What's this? Controls? It doesn't. Well, could it work if we do something? Like, how do I fix it? It's just broken. That shit ain't never gonna work. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. Water level? Uh, great. I'll turn them both and get high water. Can I, I? I don't know if I can even like go in the water, can I? I've never heard of a swimming vampire before. All right, let's try going down and see what it does. Uh, oh, yeah, that's cool. I can walk around in here. All right, what about even this? Okay. So why would I want to raise the water? Hmm. Here's another wheel. Raise it even higher. No. Nope. Can't open that. All right. Let me go try lowering the water. Oh, never mind. I can go teleport up this way. Okay. Look around here first then. Can I walk up? Up? No. Vampire not strong enough to go up uh, against the tide. Mm -mm. All right, let's see. Maybe if I lower. Oops. Didn't mean to draw my weapon there. Okay, so that closes that door. And now I can't walk in there at all. But maybe I can go on the other side. Is that a loot, by the way? No. Oh, that is. <laughs> Can I even get it on the other side? No. Shit. All right, let's see. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to do something before I raise the water levels. So, clamp that off. Lower the water levels. What's over this way? That's a door that I can't get to. This is probably, is this where I came in? Shit, I don't remember. Hmm, probably, it's like heading closer towards the outside direction. There's the stairs down, god damn. Bottled alcohol, that doesn't help any. Anything down this way before I raise the water level? I don't get it. Like the water, it looks at the same level, does it not? Like pretty much, yeah. Still access to these stairs. I do not get it. Go across. Yeah, that looks like exactly the same water level. Oh, what was over this way? Shit. I'm not sure that it even raised anything at all, really, to tell you the truth. All it does is open the door and let you go over this way. So this is supposed to be closed. I can't teleport up there. Shit. No. No can do. All right, so I must have to. Oh, that one, like it closes only momentarily and then it reopens.
this one stays closed. This one only stays closed for a little bit. Well, what good is that? Is it because those barrels are in the way? The barrels weren't there, maybe it'd stay closed? Can I just break them? Is that all I have to do? That gate should shut properly now. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, now let's close this. Then maybe we can go. Water won't be flowing as much. No? Still can't walk up that way. Well, shit. I think, I guess the only point of going there is to break the barrels in. Close this. And see where else can we go now that the water level is supposed to be lower. No? I don't even know like where we're trying to get. Uh, the water is like at the same level either way. It doesn't matter. It does not matter one bit. Open or close. It just makes no fucking difference. We can't go anywhere. Let's see what's down these stairs over here maybe. Oh, maybe these controls will work without the water. Yep, they did. All right. Right, right. I forgot about those controls that didn't work. OK, so that should be over here. Yeah. Something over there. Let's see. Vampiric senses tell us what's around or not. Uh, usually that's how it works. They don't tell me anything, but they're supposed to. There's okay, badly decomposed bodies in here. Oh, one thing I did want to do. I had a uh, let's see, my offhand weapon used bludgeon. I want to change. I want to change this to. Oh, never mind. I don't want to change that. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, this was the one that I wanted to change to the good truncheon. I had a thing that I uh, upgraded to blue quality, so I wanted to check that out. So they should use that whenever I push Y now. Dead body with some gauze wrapped around his head. Beware. Blood on the ground. This enter at your own risk. Someone's keeping those candles lit. Rats give free blood. <laughs> okay, I'm already pretty full now. Uh, can't go that way. All right, so in through here. Let's see. Exploring these sewers. No, no loot, nothing. What, red? Oh, why? Almost every gate I run across in this game, red, locked. Oops. Oh, shit. OK, this guy saw me once. You again. They call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, you boy, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, <clears throat> a touch of lucidity. Oh, we're going to take on this guy, huh? Uh oh. Bring the purple bunch and the hand that crushes all. 
So every hit he does lowers my maximum health. Shit, yep. Oh, this is uh, pretty nice. This other weapon right here is working out good. Takes off like two or three blocks of energy. All right, I should be able to do this if he doesn't get like crazy powerful later on. I bet that's a pretty good amount of damage if you let him grab you there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I tried to do that. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, I'm liking that new offhand a lot. So you basically you hit him with the offhand enough times, and he kind of gets stunned like that, and then you can get his blood. Oh. Oh, shit. Tricky. Ah, fuck. This is not going good anymore. Damn, those shadows really fucking got me big time. Where? Fuck, how did he hit me there? I did not even see that attack. Oh, that was close. Shit. I need to heal more frequently here. God damn it. Two, one. I got like a three second cooldown or so on my hill. It's not that much, but it feels like a lot when you're in combat. Fill up some more. I'm still like only what 60% on him. Oh. oh, damn it. Thought I could, since I was behind him, I could avoid that attack. A what? Not sure what happened there. They always come from the same three directions here. I'm noticing. Left, right, and then behind you. Okay, so he's under halfway. It's going okay so far. Not too bad. Oh shit. Bad time to try to do that. Nope, nope, nope. Oh fuck, fuck. Hit me three times in a row, two. an area attack thing. Oh, 
Uh, whew. It's getting low on blood there. So the blood I used in the hill. Oh, no, I missed. Fuck. So I'll, I'll use some of my blood. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, so close. Oh, crap. Whew. Damn, man. It's quite the uh, fight here. Oh, god damn, again, the shadows? No? Yeah, because I'm a doctor. I will. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Uh oh, now we'll get to see how much damage this does. Yeah. I thought he was, like, out of here kind of thing. Where the fuck did he go? Dude, cheater. Damn. Gotta dodge three times before I can even attack him. Again, he ran. This is a fucking chicken shit boss, man. I tell you. So now, for some reason, there are at least four of those guys. Maybe five. Oh, this guy is bad news. Fuck me. Where'd he go? Oh, no, not this again. Ah, fuck. Damn, man. It's like you barely get a chance to attack him. That's why this fight's taking so long. Can't get him when he's up there. You basically can't hit him whenever his shadow things are attacking because he'll just get you. I don't think. Simultaneously, him in his shadow. Nope. Fuck. Try to use my claw there. Attack. God damn it. It's a long ass fight. Dude, he does that. Like, if you try to attack him more than once, then you get area attacked. Oh, probably kind of boring to watch, huh? Jesus. Ah, dodge backwards. See if I can finish him here. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, great. Don't 
Okay, I need to hit him. God damn it. I need to hit him, knock him out so that I can feed off him again. All right, I guess that's it. All right, yeah, we showed that punk. That's what you get. He he threatened us before. He appeared to us in the street and was like, you obey Ashlon's law or else I'm going to be your, uh, what is it, like judge or judge, jury, and executioner type thing. And I was like, bitch, we don't even know what Ashlon's law is. How the fuck can we obey something you don't even know what it is, huh? So anyway, that freaking moron is out of the way now, which is good news. And I need to eat some rats so I can heal up. Hopefully we'll find rats before we find more enemies. Because shit. I look at my health, not very high right now. What? Is that a question mark? At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Oh, she, he must be talking about the dude that gave us the key. Or maybe he's saying we're going to run into a scowl. Actually, like, if it's only one dude and he's, like, the same level as us or lower, then that should be all right because I can just knock him down and feed on his blood. But, uh... Either way, I'm looking like low on health, so that's worrisome. I'm going to need to heal up soon. Nothing over here. Nope. All right, let's go this way. I mean, I still exploring the sewers? I thought I was done. Huh. What am I looking for exactly in the sewers? I mean... Oh, Ascalon, that's the person who that big dude was working for. Old Bridget. Okay, what? This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. Uh Okay, well they're not gonna attack me. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back. Thank you. Now get out of here. <laughs> there is no love lost between us vampires. But thank you. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? But you must know. They call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn egg. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to make sure that the streaming thing was still working. Hopefully it is. But I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Is it you that Sean sent me to find? Uh, okay, I'll do this one. Why was that creature after you? Fergal was the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. Scowls. So Econ are like regular vampires, and then Scowls are like the ghoul type things that are usually slaves to the vampires. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he reveals our location. Uh, can he be trusted? Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? 
Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. Did you refer to Harriet? She is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, anyway, the lady, Harriet Jones, that got killed uh, and that we're going to go try to talk to you now. She, even when she was alive, she was like a bitch. She was gossiping about everybody at the hospital. She was like, oh, I heard that nurse is a slut. Oh, it's a slut, a slut. So that's my imitation of her, but I mean, it's basically spot on. Yeah. Uh, let's see, anything around here? Who are you? Ascalon has stalked us for ages upon ages. So you've been here a long time then. All right. And you? We're at your mercy. Will you end us? I want to end you? Uh, I can't even attack you. Doesn't let me. All right. I guess the answer to that, will you end us, would be no. Your place is up here. Hmm. All right, so maybe up these stairs, perhaps. Yeah, she must be up here. Where is she? Her bedroom in here? Wait. That's not a door. Uh, I have like the worst time trying to find things in this game. This is okay, can I heal at least? No, I can't even heal. Oh shit. I have to wait until I'm in combat again, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why it's not letting me heal. Oh, maybe through... Can I walk through that curtain? No? Shit. Where do you want me to go, game? Is it downstairs, then? Oh, in here. Okay. Now, that's not her. It was like an old lady. Supremacy of Ekons. Let's get the details here. Nope, that's not. Okay, come on. Uh, supremacy of Econs. Let's see. Ask one. Supremacy of Econs. No coincidence, Econs are the most eminent and most numerous of all vampires. Econs are the true aristocracy of immortals, and if I may add, they are the only ones able to stay at the top of the food chain. Everywhere I traveled, I only met Econs assuming mortal lives of forming or forming an immortal society. Econs are the most human, most clever, and most educated of all vampires. That's me, I think. Don't get me wrong here. I have nothing against more exotic species like Volkod who share the gift of immortality with us, but most of them can prove useful if properly can canalized toward a clear goal. Um, but they lack the most important trait of all, the ability to mingle with mortals without being spotted. Therefore, the Ascalon Club should only accept Econ of the highest lineage as members of its inner circle. Depending on circumstances, Volkots could be accepted as war dogs or hunting hounds, as long as they obey our laws. Luckily enough, the lesser cousins have the natural tendency to submit and obey their masters. That's lucky, yeah. What's going on? I can't even like move my camera. Oh, because she's targeted. God, it's like what the hell? Yeah, now I can. Okay, now I can rotate it again. Just want to get everything from this room before we go and talk to Hello, Harriet. Harriet? Oh, she's got warm buff arm. Yes, you look in the 
beyond all. So put the secret. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. But I have an important question. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We're both undead. We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I want blood, and I wanted revenge, and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the Shadow heard my prayers. The Shadows killed that bastard. What bastard? Who was that murdered man? Yeah. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street. He used to be my landlord. That bastard. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. Why? Like, what did he do? Vengeance by your own hand and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks. And rightly, I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. I was too tired to kill him. <laughs> shadows. Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent. Born of hatred. Hmm. And it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wants to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said All right. Nothing. I don't believe that. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, Why I would it ask? Mm -mm. Let me rest. No, you don't let her rest. Let's Fuck. Read. God damn it. I bet that bitch sold her everything about me to the shadow. Ah, uh, man. Oh, hey, old Bridget. What's up? Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Echo? One of them. Too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. Um, how long have you for been long here? Have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Mm. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. 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 I'm not like most skulls. Yep, true, and she repeats what we just said. What happened to you? You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Echo, but it will remain mine. Fair enough. Can I be of service to you? 
we ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Okay, well, you don't want Harriet Tub Harriet Tub <laughs> Harriet, uh, what's whatever her name was, <laughs> um, as your guide. She's a gossiper in life. Live. Here we hide. She's gonna like be blah 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 and all your information, to everybody. Man, what are you hiding from? Somewhere far from the guard of Prewan. The Absalom. We are the sewer skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. Tell me about Harriet. Is Harriet. She is different from everyone else. She got one big arm. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull? In your honest opinion. The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Ah, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain Ooh. us. I thank you for your time, madam. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta get the hell out of here before you guys eat me. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. All right. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. So follow arrows. Uh, I gotta check the map. Uh, oh, yeah, this shit. I got a long way to go, don't I? Unknown? Oh. Someone I haven't met yet? Yeah, my character's not going to answer that. He's going to be like, leave the guy hanging. All right, I guess through here. A new hideout unlocked. All right. Yes, hideout, common mace. Oh, I can probably, maybe I can dismantle that for, I need like good parts for my weapon upgrades next time. So maybe I, maybe that kind of stuff will allow me to get them. Actually, let me check it out. So if I go uh, here, can I dismantle things? Upgrade. Uh, but I wanna, if I wanna like break it down for parts, I don't really use this Liston knife here. No, I, I guess I can't dismantle weapons. Okay. Only these recyclable full things. Um, anything that gives me good Good parts, aluminum powder, ferrous tardate, glass vial, grease, screw, and spring. Shit. All right, I'll do those when I need them, but... Oh, I just did that. What do I got? 32... Oh, yeah. All right, so I, I have enough XP now where I can upgrade that little claw attack that I like to use. This is, this is good. And I have to choose between which branch I want to go on here, so... This is cut through flesh so deeply that you now gain blood with each hit. That's good. It's basically like reducing the blood cost because I get a little back. Or this is um, uh, strike the prey with a stunning effect, five stun. I think I'm going to go with this because stun is what lets you kind of like feed off of the creature eventually. And it's just going to get more and more stun until eventually when I claw him. I'll be able to bite them and get a lot of blood from them. So we'll go with that one. And uh, that's it for now. 4,500 for the next. Yeah, I'm nowhere close to that. I'm only 275 XP left. But I'm level 16 now. 
So that's good. That's 600, 300. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else. I'm going to just have to wait until I get more. Um, oh, no, no. I always do that. So I hit B to go back, but that's the wrong thing. You want to confirm. Shit. I did, I did that one time I did like, I purchased like, I think like two or three upgrades and then I canceled it accidentally. And I'm like, shit, now I got to go remember what I upgraded when. All right, so let's see. We're not, uh, oh yeah, we are resting. This is a staple district. This one's critical. Whitechapel is, Whitechapel's got like four sick people and it's like critical. So I think I need to take her out. Dorothy Crane. What, what level were we at? Uh, 16? Shit. Because I saw her. She's turned into one of these scale creatures. Uh, but she's level like 24. So I was like, mm, mm I think I was 14 at the time. And I was like, 10 levels above us? Hell no. I'm missing two recipes for these elements, which a lot of people have. So that's no good. What's this? Sturdy blood sample. Regeneration serums for vampires. Oh. oh, the serums. Okay. I already have as much as, of those as I can have. Uh, this sounds good. 60 blood points. Yes, please. I don't use the serum. So far, I haven't been using the serums much, but I, I have. Okay, so it looks like the health is... Uh, D-pad up and then D-pad down for the blood serum, from what I'm, what I can tell there. So there's no other exit to this place where I can escape. No, shit. All right, let's. I want to get back to Sean Hampton, and tell him, okay, buddy, you're off the hook. And then after that, we'll. Uh, I'm gonna probably stop the stream because I was aiming for about an hour basically with playtime. She said, follow the arrows. So far, I haven't seen one damn arrow. Uh, follow what arrows? Oh, there's an arrow. Cool. All right, so up these stairs, probably. Is there an arrow? I think these are all just guys that have a one-liner, you know. We're one to trust. Cool, that's nice of her. Um, old Bridget says you are one to trust. Old Bridget is smart. She knows trustworthy people when she sees them. Um, shit. I followed one arrow, but there was no second arrow. What's down here? Oh, uh, nope, not through there. Shit, is this an elevator? It is not an elevator. Hmm. How about this door? Can I go through here? Oh, damn it. Harriet. No more words. Oh. Please. You said no more questions. Now it's no more words. Fuck. So fucking demanding, Harriet. All right, let's see. I have no clue which way I'm supposed to go. And you can't um, fast travel in this game. That sucks. I was, like, hoping to be able to... What? What is this? I have no clue where I'm going. Here's something to loot, though. Okay. Uh, the other game I'm playing right now lately has been uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And in that game, you can fast travel. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I'm Dr. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. He's in the middle of a sewer. I beg you. I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Okay. We didn't even get his name, but I can still take his stuff. Anything else? No? I'll take the money too that we left on the ground, punk. Does it say, like, by Rodney Grader? 
Oh, I could feed on him. Let me see. Are there are there like clues I can get from this guy? What is it? it says details. Sorry. There we go. Oh yeah, there are. I could get more clues and make his blood more valuable. All right. Well, I'll leave him around for now then. Ah. Shit. Controls. Controls. Controls are my enemy here. Okay, so there seemed to be nothing down that way. Ah, uh, fuck. That was the other direction. So I came from this way. Okay. What's over here? You? Sir, you have no idea what could happen to you if you stay here. Why don't you go home? For fuck's sake. <laughs> I have to punch you in the face to make you disappear. Leave me be. It's my oh, is this the same fucking dude? Yeah. I just went. I just went down, and then I came back and talked to the same guy. Don't you get it? I'm better off risking the flu than catching a bullet. Am I clear enough? I see. Well, since you are obviously hiding from a threat, don't you have a safer place to go? Do you think I'm stupid? The night asylum, the turquoise turtle, even Miss Gillingham's attic. I tried them all. No, this is my only chance. <laughs> okay, so he actually. Said had new dialogue though, even though I kind of screwed up and came back to him without realizing it. Let's see. Sir, you have no idea what could happen to you. If this sounds like the same, yeah. Skip, skip, skip. That's the same dialogue. So, okay. So, talking to him a third time isn't going to help. Uh, shit. So, that is a dead end. Maybe, is that, no, that's the door. Yep, that's the door that Harriet was in. Why did the arrow, I don't understand why I followed the arrow and it just led me nowhere. Follow the arrows, jeez. That's horrible directions. I can't open that gate. That's the way that I came. Wait, what? Is that a hole in the wall? No. I mean, it clearly says maybe, maybe going up this stairway. At least I can take all their stuff. But uh, this way, perhaps. Oh, there's an arrow. All right, cool. Now we're talking. Let's open one of the doors. What would this do? Oh, I can open this now. Okay. Oh, so improving the health status of the district actually makes prices better for me? I didn't know that. I was just dishing out medicine to people out of the kindness of my heart. All right, let's see. Um, now where are we? Got to find Mr. Hampton so I can wrap this up here. Oh, body on the table. Nice. It's locked. Don't, I don't have a lock pick. Don't, don't I? I don't know. Shit. Locked. All right. I guess I don't have a lock pick. Wow. That's a lot of fucking bodies on the table. And that table. Shit. Where the fuck did I find myself? Oh, here we go. Yes, there's Sean Hampton. All right. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? Oh, yeah. This is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bounty will transmutation for the sustenance of his believers.
Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have word from the poor Harriet? Uh, you protect mortals and scals. You have some nerve. You hide your game well. You make no distinction between the living and the scals, do you? Oh, we are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. What will be the result if you continue to assist both scals and the living? Well, for the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's the change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. You've turned scowl now. <sighs> Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of your glorious light. Uh, uh, Harriet needs special attention. We'll get to that. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed to me through a donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest. The wealthiest. London. Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. All right. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. Precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I mean, we met her, but... I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past. But I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Okay. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger scouts, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <laughs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I hardly follow you. Let's simply agree that all are one and the same. In death. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I have come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith. So, like, easy for you to say, but I need to feed off blood of the living, so. I envy the peace you found. I don't trust you. Your sacrifice, 500 XP, in the process, you will heal through my blood. Turn him to an econ? He doesn't seem to want that, and I don't know if I even have 500 XP, to be honest. Um... <sighs> I kind of want to turn. Hmm. Let's try this. My discoveries. Vampire blood would enhance your metabolism. Perhaps even heal you, if what old Bridget says is true. Oh, 
I'll give you some of mine. I, I'd rather not. It would be extremely awkward. You have no choice, <laughs> Awkward. <Sean. laughs> it's the only way to protect your chapel. Those still amongst the living. No, Dr. Reed. God made me this way. Who am I to disobey his will? You believe that God's plan was for you to be abandoned at birth? <sighs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. I can't imagine God intended for you to be molested by a priest in an orphanage. Drink, friend. No. I said, kneel and drink. Now. You're going to throw it up and then we'll be like, damn, do it again. Mesmerized level. New citizens available to kill. All right. I don't think suffer is the right word there. We actually saved uh, Sean here, who is the pillar of this community. Look, pillar. So, um District ain't going to suffer. Oh, that's down to where I came from. Oops. I already looted everything here. And what is this? Hide and seek. Find out the reason why the terrified young man is hiding in the sewers. What? I have to find out? How? Um, okay, I have no clue how to inquire about that. Oh, wait. He said he stayed in somebody's attic before, so I probably need to ask that person. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to stop this one here and uh, call it a night. We'll, I'll continue this some other time. I don't really have a set schedule yet of when I want to stream. It's, a, it's just going to be... Um, as I go, I guess. You can follow me on Twitter. Jason Zonnet um, is my handle there, too. And uh, if you wanted to see more. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody who's here. And I will see you next time, hopefully. Bye.